In the heart of a dense European forest, two adventurous friends, Mark and Jason, embarked on a daring hiking trip, their laughter echoing through the trees. Little did they know that their journey would soon lead them into the clutches of unimaginable horror. As Mark and Jason ventured deeper into the wilderness, their eyes widened in disbelief when they stumbled upon a hidden clearing. There, nestled among the ancient trees, stood a sprawling field of cannabis, its vibrant leaves shimmering with an ethereal glow. The intoxicating aroma wafted through the air, seducing them with its siren song. Unable to resist the allure, Mark chuckled mischievously. Well, Jason, looks like we've hit the jackpot. Forget about backpacking. We've stumbled upon nature's very own paradise. A field upon nature's very own paradise. A field of dreams, my friend. He quipped his voice a mix of excitement and dry humor. They plucked luscious buds, rolled joints, and eagerly indulged in the herb's forbidden pleasures. As the smoke enveloped them, their eyes grew heavy and they surrendered to a slumber that would soon be shattered by the arrival of a malevolent entity, the succubus known as Morgana. Mark's eyes shot open, his heart pounding with a mix of fear and adrenaline as he found himself face to face with the captivating yet terrifying succubus. Panic gripped him, but his comedic spirit sparked in the face of imminent horror. Whoa, Jason! I must have taken too many puffs because I'm seeing things. Ah, uh, succubi part of the European hiking experience. Because I didn't sign up for this, he quipped, his voice laced with equal parts terror and comedic disbelief. Morgana's seductive smile twisted into a wicked grin, her eyes dancing with amusement and malevolence. Oh, mortals, your feeble attempts at humor cannot save you from the fate that awaits. I shall feast upon your desires and leave you empty husks. She purred, her voice oozing with a dangerous allure. Jason, his voice trembling, joined in with a touch of gallows humor. Well, Morgana, if you're going to feast upon our desires, please make a reservation first. We don't want to keep you waiting, and maybe bring a bib, you know, for the mess, he retorted, a blend of fear and courageous wit lacing his words. Morgana's captivating facade faltered for a moment, her frustration barely contained. You dare mock me, mortals! Your defiance only fuels my insatiable hunger. Prepare for a torment that will shatter your very souls. She hissed, her voice resonating with bone-chilling intensity. The horror intensified as Morgana unleashed her dark powers, shrouding the clearing in an aura of unspeakable dread. The once gentle breeze turned into a howling wind carrying whispers of forgotten nightmares. Shadows twisted and contorted, their malevolence clawing at the friend's sanity. Yet, even amidst the encroaching terror, Mark and Jason's comedic spirit refused to be extinguished. Mark, a glimmer of bravado shining through his fear, took a daring step forward. Well, Morgana, if you're going to shatter our souls, could you at least send us a memo? We're big on scheduling catastrophes, you know. We wouldn't want to double book our doom. He quipped, his voice trembling with both fear and dry humor. Morgana's enchanting facade crumbled, replaced by a mask of rage and hunger. You insolent fools! Your laughter shall turn to screams as I consume your very essence. She shrieked, her voice a terrifying symphony of fury and malice. As Mark and Jason fled through the treacherous forest, Morgana's presence loomed ever closer, her haunting whispers echoing through the trees. The air grew thick with a suffocating dread, 
and a bone-chilling cold settled upon their shoulders, seeping into their very souls, seeping into their very souls. In a desperate attempt to evade their pursuer, Mark stumbled over a gnarled root, his body crashing to the forest floor. Jason halted, fear etched across his face as he turned to help his fallen friend. But before he could react, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, a horde of tormented spirits drawn by Morgana's malevolence. Their ghostly forms encircled Mark, their ethereal wails filling the night. Fear gripped Jason's heart as he watched his friend being ensnared by the spectral spectres, their icy touch draining the life from his trembling body. Desperation fueled his voice as he called out to Mark, his words trembling with terror. Mark! Fight it! Don't let, don't let them take you. Remember our laughter, our bond. Jason pleaded, his voice cracking under the weight of horror. Mark, a flicker of his former self still present, fought against the spectral grasp, his eyes filled with determination. With every ounce of willpower, he broke free, his body battered and bruised, but his spirit unyielding. As Mark and Jason locked eyes, they knew their only chance of survival was to unite their courage against the encroaching darkness. With a shared resolve, they sprinted through the night, their hearts pounding in synchrony as Morgana's enraged screams echoed through the forest, her powers stretched to their limits. Each step they took was a leap of faith into the unknown, their lungs burning, their bodies pushed to the brink. But the forces of darkness were relentless, closing in on them with every passing moment. Shadows twisted and contorted, threatening to swallow them whole, while the forest itself seemed to conspire against their escape. In the midst of their harrowing chase, a glimmer of hope appeared. A faint beam of moonlight piercing through the thick canopy above. With renewed determination, they pushed forward, their legs aching, their breath coming in ragged gasps. Finally, as their strength waned, they burst through the tree line, stumbling upon the edge of a desolate cliff. The abyss yawned before them, an unforgiving drop into the unknown depths below. Yet, faced with this perilous choice, they knew it was their only chance for survival. Hand in hand, Mark and Jason took a leap of faith, plunging into the abyss with their hearts filled with both dread and hope. The wind roared past them, their screams mingling with the echoes of Morgana's furious cries. But as they plummeted through the darkness, a blinding light emerged, embracing them in its warm embrace. When they awoke, Mark and Jason found themselves lying on a dew-kissed meadow, far removed from the horrors of the forest. Exhausted and shaken, they exchanged a glance, a silent acknowledgement of the unimaginable terror they had endured. Though scarred by the night's ordeal, they knew that laughter, even in the face of darkness, was their beacon of resilience. And so, with a mix of relief and trepidation, they rose to their feet, vowing to face the world with newfound courage, forever bound by their harrowing encounter with the abyss.